So y'all already know I'm a huge fan of technology and how you can use it within your business as a photographer. So today we're gonna to be checking out Luminar Neo. This program is backed by a whole bunch of awesome AI tools and honestly, it's the next program I'm thinking about porting over my preset to. If you all use Luminar Neo or are new to it and you wanna see the Natural Fills preset in it, please let me know in the comments below and then maybe I'll try to go ahead and port it over because <laughs> it is not an easy task. If you wanna check out Luminar Neo for yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description below or use the QR code for 10% off of your order. This video is sponsored by Skyloom, so we're gonna be checking out Luminar Neo and some of its cool features that you can use while you're editing your photos. So Luminar Neo has a whole bunch of really cool features and I'm not gonna be able to get into all of them today. However, I wanna go focus on some of the things that you can use in your own workflow. One thing that's really nice about it is there's a lot of tools that you can either use to edit your full photos all the way through from start to finish from the raw file or something like I do sometimes, which is editing your photo in a different program, exporting that JPEG and then bringing it to Luminar Neo to finish it up, remove things in the photo, clean up the face. And you can do all these things through AI, which will save you a whole bunch of time. So speaking of some of the AI features, let's actually look at some of their sample images and take a quick look at what you can do with the face. So I'm gonna edit this photo and you see it always, already wants us to try out some of this stuff here. And the retouching stuff is really cool. You can see it here on the right side. Now, some of this stuff you have to be very careful about not doing it too overly because it will look a little fake. However, if you've ever worked with a couple or a bride who has a problem with how they look in a photo, this is gonna help you out a lot when it comes to things like slimming down the face a little bit, removing blemishes and things, smoothing the skin and stuff without having to sit there in Photoshop for 50 years. So you can see here I have all my AI face stuff. I can slim the face very quickly. And again, it's kind of like a liquify tool, but as long as you're not being too dramatic with it, you're not really gonna notice. Here's our before and after of that. That's before, here's after. We also can make adjustments on the eyes. I can get rid of dark circles. And honestly, that's probably the main one I would use like almost in every wedding photo. Look at this before. We can brighten up the eyes if we want to. We have our eye enhancer. And you can even do craziness like change the color of the eyes if you want to. So again, there's a lot of cool AI options here. Now, personally, I would not always change the color of the eyes. Clearly your couples are gonna know. But again, from my standpoint, as a wedding photographer, being able to touch things up very quickly is like game changing. See what we can do with the mouth as well. We got lip saturation, we can pull that up a little bit. Lip redness teeth whitening. And again, before and after. Oh wow, look at the difference in her lips. Go back to the eyes again. We have eye, we can enlarge the eyes some too if we wanted to. Let me pull back the face some. And just quickly get a nice clean photo with touch-ups. Let's go ahead and finish up with skin as well. So I'm gonna turn on the skin defect removal. And then I'm gonna also go ahead and put some skin smoothing on. And I found personally around that 30 range is what looks good to me. Once you start getting a little bit too far above that, it starts looking kind of artificially too smooth. And again, we don't want to touch our photos up too much. But the fact that you have all these options and it's like easy and quick to do is like a big deal. And honestly, that's feeling pretty good to me. So another new feature that they have is actually the panorama stitching, which is huge for me. 
If you haven't seen my video on how to, if you haven't done, if you haven't seen my video on how to do the Brenizer technique, which you can check out right up above, definitely watch that video because with it, you will have to panorama stitch. Basically what the Brenizer technique is, is taking a multi-shot photo focused on your couple with a longer lens, like an 85 or uh, 135 or something long. This way you get a wider shot, but you get that depth of field from a tele lens and it gives a really cool effect, but you have to stitch all the photos together. So you can see here in some of my photos, I have a bunch of photos here. This is a Brenizer I did with the GFX 100S. So what I'm gonna do is select all my photos with Shift S and drag them into the panorama stitch. Once my photos are in there, we'll go ahead and start that. So as you see here, that took about five minutes or so, give or take, it depends on your computer how fast it is, to go ahead and stitch everything together. And with the Brenizer technique, as you can see, like this foreground blur is very defined. And also we have a nice depth of field, especially coming out of the GFX 100S. Now at this point, I can go ahead and come in and make any edits to the photo, but I think it looks fine. There's one little thing here that's a little off, but you know, that happens sometimes. Here's another spot. But other than that, it looks absolutely great. So we're going to continue. We'll choose our cropping, which I normally like to see if I can keep my couple centered still. Maybe bring this down a tad. And then that will be my final photo. So here is my final image. And again, so this was made from multiple photos. So as far as the GFX 100S is concerned being a 102 megapixel camera, this file would be huge. You know, like if you zoom in on it 100%, you're like all the way into the photo because it's just such a large photo. I mean, check out the dimensions of the photo up in the top right corner. Like that's pretty drastic, but I absolutely love the Brenizer technique. You should try it out for yourself. It gets a really good look. Just remember when you're shooting, you have to shoot with 85 mil or longer. Anything else too wide and it's kind of pointless. You just need to shoot a wide shot by yourself. So looking at more of the Luminar Neo features, another cool new one is the Generase. So again, this is using AI to remove things in a photo. So here's a shot I did at a styled shoot a while ago. And as you can see, another photographer was shooting as well. I liked her expression. And I was just kind of shooting off to the side. So the photographer didn't block me. She was taking her turn to shoot and I was just getting an extra shot while I was there. But because it's a decent photo, I might want to actually use it. So let's see if we can remove the photographer. So we're going to use Generase. And now that it's analyzed the scene, I'm going to draw in what I want to remove. So I'm just going to make my brush a little bit larger here since it's a large section. And we're going to take her out of here and then now that we have her painted in we can hit erase awesome and yeah that looks pretty good like you would never know there was someone there and from here, I can go ahead and save. And then I can go in and edit the photo. Because honestly, like one thing I would do is I would crop it a little bit. Again, y'all know I love my center focuses. So I would crop it in some, which also removes some of the area where the photographer was. And then from there, we can do all the other features we talked about before. I could go in and do some skin retouching. We could face, and where was my uh, teeth whitening? Let's do dark circles, I think is another good one. And yeah, and then you would just go in and do your colors and everything like that. It's just, it's really good. Like a lot of the AI features is just really good to just use and get in real quick and easy so you don't have to deal with too much. Let's take another look at the Generase as well. 
So here's a photo that I was taking, and this is like a hot spot in the area. So people love to take photos here, but it's also like the entrance to the park. So clearly there was just going to be people. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove this woman on the right here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit larger. We'll just paint over the whole thing. I kind of want to go on the outsides a bit. Pretty good. <laughs> I think we also, it looks like we have a man back here in the back. Let me see if I can remove him as well. It's hard to tell because he's really just kind of bokeh, but you know. You know how for Target, we're kind of picky. We'll see what we can do. Nice. And there we go. No people in the background. So again, the generates is awesome for removing things from the background. I can go ahead and save that. And I have a great photo that is ready to be edited. Now, another great tool inside of Luminar Neo is their noiseless AI. Being able to remove noise from your photos is extremely helpful. So let's take this photo, for example. Now, this was early in the morning. So because of it, I was already kind of pushing my ISO a little bit high. My shutter speed was low. So it is a little bit grainy. It's not horrible, but it definitely is grainy. You can see it on the photo. So let's go ahead and see how Luminar can save this photo for us. Under our extensions here, we're gonna be able to go into the noiseless AI. And it looks like it's already saying that the low adjustment will be fine for the photo. So let's go ahead and choose that. And that was really fast. I can also make some adjustments here. And let's see if we can go in a little bit closer. And y'all can see it looks pretty good. This is what it was before. Here it is after. Let's see what medium looks like. Nice. Definitely cleaned it up pretty quickly. And then from that point, we would go ahead and edit. And like I said, again, I haven't ported over the natural fills preset yet, but I would love to do that for you all if you like using Luminar Neo. So please let me know because there's a lot of cool features in here that work with your editing, but having that nice color from the natural fills preset would be absolutely amazing. Now, again, with this photo, I could go ahead and do all the other edits we were talking about before as well. We can do some face edits. Dark circles. Slim the face the tiniest bit. Eye whitening is always nice, but not too much. Do some skin stuff as well. They also have some body AI, so you can go ahead and make any adjustments there. Again, talking about weddings, this is something you shouldn't have to do very often. It's something you should be talking to your couples about. However, if there is a shot where you want to make some changes, this is the easiest way to do it. I don't want to sit around having to fuss around. Using AI to help me with this stuff is like, hands down, the main thing I love to do. So you can see that it is liquefying it. So we can see in some of the corn stalks, you can see. So if I did something crazy like that, it's pretty obvious. But again, if you want to take something in just the tiniest bit. So honestly, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do inside of Luminar Nuo. And I love the fact that everything is just in one place. Like you don't have to go back and forth to different programs to do 50 different things, which is generally what I tend to do. So <laughs> let's go ahead and keep looking at some cool features that Luminar has in it. So there is a feature for background removal, and I'm actually pretty curious to see if I would be able to take some of these photos and take the background out. 
So like imagine if I wanted to use these photos for like, I don't know, a website for dresses or something like that and put it on a different background or put it alongside like the graphic logo of whoever sells the dress or something. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to head over to edit. And then we're going to jump into our layer properties. And then under masking, we should be able to see our background removal. So we can see the masking is pretty good. It looks great. And if I'll select human as well. And there we go. There's a little bit here, some green. I could clean that up later. This looks great. So I could take this and again, like I was saying, I could put it on top of another graphic or something like that on a website. And again, that wasn't even on a clear background. Like imagine if it was just a background that was easily clear, this would do it in like two seconds, honestly. So this is definitely something every photographer should have in their toolbox if they're doing any kind of like client worth, like taking pictures for other photographers or product work or something like that. Something that you can do this quickly and easily and you don't have to depend on taking, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes just to remove the background yourself. So again, a great feature inside of Luminar Neo. And last but not least is being able to AI sharpen your photos. Let's give it a try on this photo here. So we have super sharp, which is going to help with sharpening the photo, making sure that it looks great and clear all the way through. Let's do face enhancer. We'll put it on low. Check out the face enhancer. I'm going to turn that off for now. And this is looking crispy. Here's our before. Here's the after. And it's really, really defining these lines and making everything nice and sharp. Now, the cool thing is we can also only have the sharpening happening on any motion blur. So for some reason, you're shooting with your shutter a little bit too low. This is going to help out with that. Clearly, don't shoot with your shutter too low, <laughs> but this should help out a bit. Awesome. That looks great. Again, if you use Luminar Neo or are looking to get into it and you want to see the natural fills preset in it, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget about picking up Luminar Neo with the link in the description below or the QR code. And I hope this video helped you see some of the cool features that it has and how you can use Luminar Neo in your own workflow.